What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, we've got the Electron Pro ACDC 10A um, charger here from Common Sense. Um, this is gonna be a little uh, kind of tutorial setup video on how to set up this little guy for a uh, LiPo balance charge. Um, so it's gonna get you guys all set up, that way you can just hit start and uh, get your LiPos charging. But this is a pretty cool little charger, so it's about $50 price point, um, and it's a 10 amp AC DC charger so it'll charge it up to a 10 amp charge rate um, and it'll also cover your one cell through six cell lithium polymer batteries as well as your nickel metals your lead acid um, stuff like that so it's it's a pretty uh, versatile charger um, and it comes in at a really good price point so without further ado let's get started Hey guys, got a new merch store available with some hats, shirts, and other accessories. So if you want to pick up some cool swag and support the channel, go ahead and click that link in the description below. All right, guys, we got the charger laid out here. We got all the, the cabling and the battery we're going to charge. Um, and before I even turn it on, what I like to do is plug all the cables in. Um, so on the side here is where you're going to have your your charge lead ports. So you've got obviously red to red for positive, black to black for negative. Um, and then on the side here, you've got this white port, which is allow you to, which is going to allow you to plug in your balance board there. Um, and this balance board breaks it down to 2s, 3s, 4s, 5s, and 6s. So that gives you the range to plug in all your uh, lipo batteries that you're going to require balancing. Um, now, anytime you are charging a lithium cell battery, um, in this instance, it's lithium polymer. This is a two cell lipo. Um, there's gonna be multiple cells in that battery and you're always gonna to wanna to make sure you're balancing those cells while you charge them. Um, this is gonna improve the longevity of the battery and the overall life of it. Um, so with all those plugged in, um, I've already got the power cable run to the wall. Um, so I'm gonna turn the power strip on. Um, you'll see the charger light up. Go through its startup. Um, and then, so this is the main menu here, which is program select. Um, let me adjust the camera slightly you get a better view of the screen um, so you can see here um, you got program select select and then below that it says lipo battery um, you've got your battery type slash stop button here um, you've got your status negative and positive and then your enter and start button here um, so if you use the status negative button you can actually cycle through the main menu options Got battery IR meter, battery meter, um, and then you'll get back to, you got your lead acid battery, NICAD, nickel metal, um, lithium high voltage, lithium or life packs, lithium ion, and then back to LiPo. So since this is a LiPo battery, that's where we're gonna start. Um, and then before I start, what I'm gonna do is plug the main lead in, and then also plug this white, white cord here into the 2S port. Um, the, each balance lead will only fit into one port, um, so it's pretty hard to get that wrong and plug it into the wrong port since they are sized accordingly. Um, the more the cells count, the larger the, the plug goes. Um, so now that you're on LiPo battery here, um, you can hit the enter button. That'll bring you to this page here. Um, and you can see on the top it says LiPo um, Bal Charge, so that stands for balance charge, and then it says 2S. Um, on this main menu here, if you just cycle through the positive and the minus status buttons, you can go through all the different different charge features of the charger. So you've got your storage mode, um, discharge, charge, and then balance charge. Um, what I like to do and what I recommend to everyone is just leave it on balance charge. That's going to make sure it's balancing it while you're charging it. Um, that's a really good setting to have to improve the overall longevity of your battery um, and just uh, just keep it in the best shape possible. Um, if you switch it over to say just charge here and it's not focusing on balancing um, and then you you can do that for a few cycles in between but you always want to remember to go back to balance charge and that's what a lot of people forget is they just forget and then you just leave it on this and then your cells get really out of balance and they're uh, starts causing issues with the battery. So what we like to do is we like to just leave it on balance charge um, and not worry about it. Um, so once you have that selected, you can hit the enter button and you'll see the 2S here start flashing. Now this is where you're gonna select the number of cells that the battery is. 
So this one here being a 7.4 volt is a 2S LiPo. Um, this will go all the way up. Well, yeah, it'll go 2S, 3S, 4S, 5S, and 6S. So you just want to select the appropriate size. Now this doesn't give a voltage. A lot of chargers will say um, the voltage and then in parentheses it'll have the cell count like this one says 2S. Um, this one doesn't. Um, so just look at your battery. Most of them will say the cell count on it. Um, if not, it'll say the voltage um, like this one here. Um, it's a 5200 milliamp hour 50C 7.4 volt. Um, now, the nice thing about Electron Pro is their part number actually says 2S5200. Um, so that indicates 2S. Some batteries will just have the voltage on there. Um, so you want to know that, you know, 7.4 is is 2S, 11.1 is 3S, and so on. Um, so basically 3.7 volts per cell. Um, so you can do the math. Um, just divide whatever your voltage is by 3.7 and that'll give you the cell count. Um, and so now that this is on 2S here, um, and yes, that is an S there, not a five. A lot of people, <laughs> some people think it's a, you know, it says 25 or 35 or 45, um, but this is indicating the cell count of the battery. So. Leave it on 2S once you have that selected, hit the enter button. Um, that's going to bring you down to your C equals um, or your capacity. So that's referring to the capacity of the battery or the MAH, which is milliamp hour rating. Um, this one is 5200. Um, this, this here, this setting here is not um, the most important setting. Um, basically what this is going to do is you can see when I dial it back, um, it's also adjusting your amperage here. Um, basically, it's having you dial in the capacity of the battery and then it's automatically setting the charge rate to a 1C charge rate, um, which is going to, it's going to be the easiest on the battery um, and roughly, roughly an hour charge time at that rate. Um, but you can select, so this is a 5200 milliamp hour battery, um, so you can select 5200 and then again hit enter. Um, and then it will cycle you over to your amperage and this is where you have free roam to dial the amperage to whatever you want. Um, now this charger will go all the way up to 10 amps and that's where it's going to max out. Now most batteries, um, most batteries on it will have a charge rate indicator here. Um, like this one, they're labeling it as a 5C charge rate capable battery. Um, so basically a 5C rate would be 5.2 um, since this is a 5.2 amp hour battery 5200 milliamps hours is 5.2 amp hours um, so it's a 5.2 amp hour battery times that by five and that gives you the max charge rate that you can charge this battery at um, so since 10 amps is le slightly less than a 2c charge rate and this is rated for a 5c um, you can crank this all the way up to 10 amps and what that's going to do is just charge the battery faster so you're going to have less downtime you're going to be waiting less time to get it done. Um, so you can dial that up. Most batteries will take um, usually at least a 2C charge rate. Now again, this depends on the battery, so you always want to go by the recommendations if they have it on the label. Um, if it does say somewhere what their charge rate is, um, you always want to go by that. Um, otherwise, you do risk damaging the battery. Um, but since this one's rated for a 5C charge rate, which is well above the 10 amp hour limit, or the 10 amp limit here, um, 10 amp is going to be fine on this particular battery, but again, you want to you want to make sure you're looking at um, your particular battery, and of course, um, the milliamp hour. If you're charging, you know, an 1800 milliamp hour battery, and it's only rated for you know a 2C charge rate, that's going to be well under the 10 amp limit of this charger or the max capability of this charger. So you're you're going to want to go ahead and dial that back to you know whatever whatever charge rate you need. Um, but this particular battery that I'm charging is capable of 10 amps, so you can leave it on there. And then if you keep hitting enter, it's just gonna keep cycling through all those settings. Um, and so when you have all those settings put in, what you wanna do is you wanna, this enter start button, you just wanna press it down and hold it. It's gonna do its battery check with that beep. And if it, if it determines that you had it plugged in as a two cell LiPo, and you have a two cell LiPo plugged into your balance lead here. And of course that 2S LiPo is in good condition and your cells are you know, fairly balanced and it's, it's registering and reading as a two cell LiPo. Um, it's gonna automatically kick into your charge cycle here. Um, it's, 
LiPo 2S is what this is indicating here. And then this is your current charge rate. Um, so you can see it came up pretty, pretty quickly to that near 10 amp hour or 10 amp charge rate. Um, so it just hit 10 there. Um, and then this is the overall voltage of the battery. So this battery as it currently sits is at eight volts. Um, it is LiPo 2S balance. So it's balancing. This is your timer here. So this is how long the cycle has been going. Um, and then this number over here, you'll see start to increase in number. That's gonna constantly increase. That is the milliamp hours that it's actually put into the battery. Um, so this being a 5,200 milliamp hour battery, a fully run down battery, um, so you run it till your lipo cutoff comes on in the truck or whatever you're running it in and it says, hey, it's time to charge the battery. Um, you, you're gonna put close to that into it. You might not always hit that mark. Um, this isn't really a number that you need to worry about hitting the mark on the battery. Um, this is just what it put in in that particular charge cycle. Um, so like this battery is coming off of storage mode. So when this hits fully charged, that number is not gonna be anywhere near the 5200 just because it wasn't fully run down, it wasn't fully charged, um, so it was right in the middle. Um, so rough, roughly half that. Um, and then while you're in, in the charge screen, um, what you can do is if you hit the plus button there, this is your cell one, cell two, cell three, cell four. So this is a two cell. Um, so cell one, cell two, um, you can see the individual cell voltages and it will time out to the main screen. Um, but 3.91, 3.96. So this battery is a little bit out of balance, um, but the balance charge will bring that back in. You can cycle through that. You see it goes to four on one page. Um, if you are running like a five or six S, you hit it again, it'll show you cell five, cell six. Three minutes in, put about 500 milliamp hours in. Um, but yeah, it's holding steady at the 10 amps. Um, and you'll see that voltage start to kick up a little bit as the voltage of the battery comes up. Um, but you can see the individual cell voltage is there. Um, but yeah, that'll do its thing. It'll time out when the battery is full. It's automatically going to shut off when it senses the battery is full. It's a smart charger. So it, they all, you know, current generation LiPo chargers are going to automatically shut off. It's not like on a timer basis or anything. Now there are timer wise, um, it will time out after a while. So if you're doing a really slow charge on the battery, um, and it hits a certain time limit, it's going to time out and kick off before it's done doing what you told it to do. Um, but typically for standard charging procedures, you're not gonna hit that mark. Um, so you're just gonna bring the voltage up. It's gonna sense when it's done and then it's gonna kick off. You can stop the battery cycle early um, with this battery type slash stop button here. Um, you just click that once. You can hear the fan kicked off. Um, and that brought, brought you back to the screen where you're putting all your settings in. So it's not doing anything right now. Um, but when it's done, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure you go ahead and unplug it. You never want to leave your batteries plugged in um, when they're not in use, whether that be in the truck, you just ran it or, you know, you just charged it or discharged it or storage moded it or whatever on the charger. Um, you always want to just unplug them and set them off to the side when you're done. Um, but other than that, that's been a quick little tutorial slash setup for uh, the ACDC 10A on a 2S LiPo to get it going for charge cycle. Um, I hope this video helped you out. If you got any questions or concerns or you just wanna leave a nice little comment, go ahead and do that down in the comment section down below. Um, go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you like this video and you wanna stay tuned for more, more videos from the channel, hit that subscribe button, the little bell next to it, that way you're getting notifications. And then check the links below to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thanks for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.